T minus 60 seconds. 55 seconds. 50 seconds. 45 seconds. Power generators ready. T minus 40 seconds. T minus 35 seconds. Power generators activated. T minus 30 seconds. SAS on. Rocket fully on internal power. T minus 25 seconds. We are clear for launch. T minus 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of the Sunrise Habitation Module, the second mission in the construction of the Kerbal Space Station project. Third mission, so. Fifty meters a second. Five hundred meters in altitude. Thousand meters in altitude, eighty meters a second, approaching. 100 meters a second speed. The eight main engines performing perfectly. Three thousand meters in altitude. Rocket beginning to pitch over to achieve its proper orbit. Four thousand meters in altitude. One hundred fifty meters a second, now going one kilometer every five seconds. past 6,000 meters in altitude. Rocket continuing to pitch over. Approaching 200 meters a second. 8,000 meters in altitude. 9,000 meters in altitude. 10,000 meters in altitude. 5 Rocket now pitched over 45 degree angle. All eight engines running smoothly, not too far from stage separation. Just past 12,000 meters a second.
four hundred meters a second. Five hundred meters a second. Now going one kilometer every two seconds. Approaching seventeen thousand meters in altitude. Twenty kilometers in altitude. Approaching stage separation. Rocket now nearly horizontal as it continues its way into orbit. Over 1,000 meters a second, going more than one kilometer every second. 25 kilometers in altitude, approaching main engine cutoff and stage separation. RCS controls activated. Main engine cutoff. And we have stage separation. Sorry, now stage separation. And second stage engine ignition. Traveling almost 1,500 meters a second, 33 kilometers in altitude. Almost 87 kilometers downrange from the Kerbal Space Center. Main engine throttling back to two-thirds. Now to 50 percent. Now down to one-third. Thrust. Going more than 2,300 meters a second altitude of 42 kilometers. Main engine cut off. Altitude 45 kilometers. Rocket now more than 100 kilometers downrange. Just past 50 kilometers in altitude. Speed of almost 2,400 meters a second, going more than two kilometers every second of the flight. Fifty four kilometers in altitude. Rocket pitching to proper alignment for orbital insertion burn. Approaching the edge of the atmosphere now. Sixty kilometers in altitude, just ten kilometers short of the boundary between air and space. Solar panels extending.
the sunrise will coast to an altitude of approximately 175 kilometers before doing its orbital insertion burn. Still traveling more than two kilometers a second. And now, Sunrise Habitation Module is in space. We drift to Apoapsis. Almost in position for our insertion burn. Rocket now pitching down to align with the prograde so insertion burn can be completed almost to apoapsis insertion burn in five four three two one main engine throttling up to two-thirds thrust to insert it into a proper orbit Sunrise Habitation Module has been confirmed that it is in orbit. Periapsis 168,000 meters and Apoapsis 182,000 meters. Stand by for second stage separation. Stage separation confirmed. Second stage has been reported to have suffered minor structural damage, but the main orbital tug and sunrise have been unharmed. Mission will proceed as normal. Sunrise now separating from orbital from the orbital tug. And rolling backward to connect with orbital tug in proper alignment. Orbital tug now taking over. RCS find controls enabled. Two spacecraft successfully docked. Now in proper alignment for orbital maneuvering to 
dock with the KSSP International Space Station. And now the deorbit of the second stage, main engine firing retrograde. Now slowing to a suborbital trajectory. It will burn up in the atmosphere. Our next mission report will be docking with the KSSP so that the Kerbals may have a habitation module for them to stay in in their extended stays on the station.